Hey, look, it's Lady Liberty, and that's a metaphor for what we're going to learn about in this tutorial, and that's smart filters. They are liberating. Learn why. Let's get into it now. So smart filters are one of the most powerful features of Photoshop. If you're using Photoshop and you don't know about smart filters, you must know about smart filters. Here's how you use them. First, you create whatever layer you're working on to a smart object. That, of course, allows you to then apply a smart filter. You can create a layer to a smart object by, or convert a layer to a smart object, I should say, by right-clicking on the layer and choosing Convert to Smart Object. Boom, we now have a smart object. You know that because the little icon in the bottom right corner. Now what we can do is apply virtually any filter we want and it will be a smart filter. And by virtually any filter, I mean any filter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a pixelate mosaic. Look at that, that's a pretty cool filter. We're gonna reduce the cell size, however, because Lady Liberty is now a fugitive, right? Look at that, it's just like you see in those television shows where somebody's got their identity all blurred out. But hey, guess what? Lady Liberty needs to be blurred and pixelated, not the clouds around her. But check this out. This is what's so cool about smart filters. Not only can I double click on the name Mosaic and edit the cell size, editing this filter after I've applied it, but I can also do stuff like play with the blending options by double clicking on this little line. I can reduce the opacity of this and just have this faded mosaic effect glowing above Lady Liberty, which looks horrific. You can also play with the blend modes like overlay or like hard light and see what kind of different things you get. Uh, again, not always recommended, but it's an option that you have. So just know that it's there. Here's what's really cool. You have a mask for your filters. Now, this mask applies to every filter that's on the layer. Would it be cool if you could mask individual uh, filters? Absolutely. Maybe that's coming in a future version of Photoshop. But as of right now in the summer of 2015, we have one mask. But check out what we can do with this mask. We can grab our rectangular marquee tool, drag a selection around Lady Liberty, select that mask, and, well, we want to save the filter only above Lady Liberty. So if I fill this with black, you're going to see that it's going to make the Statue of Liberty clear. We don't want that. I'm going to undo that, Commander Control Z. Here's what we need to do. We need to flip our selection. The hotkey to flip the selection is Control Shift I. That would be Command Shift I on the Mac. Boom, we flipped our selection. And now we can fill this with black simply by using the hotkey Command or Control I. That flips the white uh, in our mask to black, therefore covering up the mosaic effect on the clouds all around the Statue of Liberty and only leaving it there. So that's it. That's smart filters. And oh, by the way, did I mention, if you don't like the smart filter, you can grab it and drag it down to the garbage can and never worry about blurring an image and not being able to unblur it again in the future. That is smart filters in Photoshop, an incredibly powerful feature. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this tutorial. And if you enjoyed it, go check out www.tutvid.com for more free Photoshop and video tutorials. Thanks, guys. Hey, wait, stop. Before you click away from this video, I just want to remind you, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that little like button. It helps this video go up. And going up is what I like. That's what we want to do. If you also have a couple more seconds, go ahead and leave a comment. That's cool, too. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, check out either of these two videos right here for more of the stuff that I do. This hand is weird. Right there. Thanks, guys.